Hey Internet, it's Colorful Artie, and it's about time we did the third entry in the Donkey Kong Country Trilogy. Donkey Kong Country 3 for Game Boy Advance. So this one is actually fairly different from the Super Nintendo version. For starters, it's got a completely new soundtrack, which in my opinion is definitely better. And there's also a whole extra world in this that was not ever in the Super Nintendo version. So, more content. There's also more extra stuff, that kind of thing. I just think it's a very superior version to the Super Nintendo game. Plus, I played the first two Donkey Kong Countries on my channel on the GBA version, so we gotta round out the trilogy the same way. So, enough dawdling, let's start. We need a new file, single player, because I am playing alone. I am art. So the interesting thing about this is, unlike the first two Donkey Kong Countries, there's no intro dialogue. It's literally just, it throws you right in the game, and you start playing. Which is awesome, and the overworld music is amazing, of course. We can't swim around these rocks. And as you can see, it's a, the overworld map is quite a bit different than the uh, other two Donkey Kong Countries, because we can swim, like, anywhere. We're not on a fixed track. Once we go on land, we're on a fixed track, but it gives you a little bit of leeway, which is nice. So it's time to go to Wrinkly's Retreat. It's Wrinkly Calm. Hello there, it's me, Mrs. Wrinkly Calm. I found life too hectic at school with all those naughty Kremlings pestering me all the time, so I've decided to find my inner self. It's so relaxing here, although it still seems like something is missing. Perhaps you can help? While you're on your travels, keep an eye out for the strange banana birds. If you manage to find any, bring them back here. Go on then, off you go! One other thing, you can save your progress at any time by pressing Start to access your inventory. Simply choose Save Game, and your progress will be saved. What's that? You want to see the lost world? Can't help you, sorry. So yeah, a little background on the plot of the game. Basically, we're in a place called the Northern Cremosphere, and Donkey Kong and Diddy Kong went here, I guess, on vacation like a couple weeks ago and they haven't returned, so Dixie Kong who's Diddy Kong's girlfriend, is going to investigate. In the Super Nintendo version, Wrinkly's Retreat is Wrinkly's Save Cave, and that's the only way you can save your game, is by going there. But because it's portable on the GBA, they had to make it so you can save anywhere, which is a big improvement as well. So, now let's go to Bazaar's General Store. Hello there, young Dixie! The name's Bazaar, and this is my General Store. All of my brothers are scattered around these islands. Pop in and say hello if you think you spot one of them on your travels. Yeah, so this is kind of weird. At Donkey Kong Country 3, most of the overworld, like, places you visit are random bears. It's, it's kind of interesting. Uh, so we can buy some stuff from him. Where's that shell from? This shell was found at the bottom of Lake Arainatana, and is pretty rare. At five bear coins, it's a bargain. Would you like to purchase this fine specimen? Well, we don't have five bear coins, so no. Is that a mirror? Yes, it's no ordinary one, though. No, it was Cranky's great-grandfather's. I can't let it go for less than 50 coins. Can I interest you in buying this fabulous item? You gotta be joking. Man, I love chocolate. These are the finest chocolates, guaranteed to impress. They can be yours for just 20 coins. Uh, sorry. Yeah, I'm a cheapskate. I sh probably shouldn't have gone to the general store before getting any money, but that's my problem. <laughs> So, who owns the castle? Well, I ventured up there once, but if you want to know what I discovered, it'll cost you two coins, so what do you think? Are you interested? I'm saving for Swanky's. Yeah, Swanky comes back in this, but he doesn't run a game show. He runs something a little lamer, unfortunately. <coughs> Sorry. I feel like I've got some mucus in my throat. Alright, but basically if you paid him the coins, he would have said, like, oh yeah, I went up to the castle, there was a sign that said, don't come any closer, so I left. So, that's kind of worthless. Are there secret caves? Quite a lot, actually, but if you want me to tell you, it'll cost 13 coins. So how about it, Dixie? Would you like to hear more? I'll find them myself. So, basically he'll be like, yeah, there's one secret cave out there for every coin you gave me for that information. So there are 13 secret caves that you need to find. Nothing today, thanks. I have no money. Hey, you just have a really nice day now, Dixie. You hear? Well, that's nice, considering I just walked in, talked to him about all of his items, and then left without it buying anything. That's very nice of him. 
Anyways, time to go to the Funky's Rentals! Funky's back in the boat business. Yo, Dixie, what's happening? I've said I'm out smoking new boat shop on this island, but that's not all. I've also brought your excellent cousin Kitty Kong along for the ride. He may be a toddler, but if you let him throw you upwards, you'll almost reach the stars. Oh, yeah! And if you throw him, his humongous body can smash through the floor of some areas. Trust me. Yeah, so we don't get Donkey Kong or Diddy Kong on our team. We get Kitty Kong. Yeah. I have to say I'm not a fan of Kitty Kong, in addition to having a very annoying crying animation. Really, he could have just been Donkey Kong. You could have put Donkey Kong in this game, and nobody would be any of the wiser. I don't know why they didn't do that. Also, fun bit of lore. So, Kitty Kong is Dixie Kong's cousin. Also, he's Chunky Kong's little brother. I just thought that was interesting. So, we can do a boat challenge if we want, but I feel like that would be a boring way to start the Let's Play, so we're going to hire a boat. Right now, we only have one boat. We will get more later in the game, though. So, this is a pretty basic boat. We can swim in the water with it, but we can't go past the rocks. It's kind of like just swimming. A bit faster, though. So, if we go up here and push A, we get the first secret cave, Bounty Beach. So, you found one of the secret banana bird caves, Jerry Steam Prison Bird. You must watch the sequence of lights, then repeat it exactly using the directions on the D pad control pad. Seems like a waste of time to me. Why can't these game developers come up with something more interesting? I'm with you, Cranky. So let's just follow the pattern. Pretty easy. It does get a bit more difficult. And if you be clear a secret cave, we get a banana bird. Yeah, we could go back to Wrinkly, but honestly, it's time to just start the game. So let's go to the first world, Lake Arena First level up is Lakeside Limbo. So we've got Dixie Kong and Kitty Kong here. Dixie Kong plays the same way she did in Donkey Kong Country 2. She carries barrels above her head, and she can do a little hover move if you press A and hold B. Also, if you pick up Dicky, uh, Kitty Kong with the R button and you throw him upwards, you'll notice how he slammed the ground. He can use that to break certain planks. Now, uh, Kitty Kong, on the other hand, holds barrels in front of him. He can roll, he's a little agile, and also he can do the partner throw that both Dixie Kong and Diddy Kong could do in Donkey Kong Country 2. You can use that to reach high places. And we can get invisible one-ups. Neek the rats back, and as are the calm letters. Kitty Kong also has another ability that I'll show off later. So right here, you'll notice there's a bonus barrel there, those are back, and the cracked floor there. This is an example of what you want to do by throwing Kitty Kong in there. Just like that. And first bonus barrel, collect 50 stars. Each bonus barrel has a certain objective. If you can clear them, you will get a bonus token. Just like that one. Really good music in this game. I feel like... I feel like the Super NES uh, version of the game had like very atmospheric music, but this one has more in-your-face awesome music. This is a coin with a K. Basically, you remember the hero coins in Donkey Kong Country 2? These guys have them in this. You can see they're using it as a shield. So, you can't actually do anything to kill them. No matter what you do, they will always follow you with their shield. The way to kill them? Throw a steel keg, about rebound it off a wall, and hit their back. And you will receive a hero coin for your troubles. It's important to collect those. Critters are back as well. We haven't seen them since Donkey Kong Country 1. And as a rule of thumb, if you see any shack, you should probably throw Dixie Kong up on top of it. Point taken, we got a 1-up and 2 bear, bear coins. Now it's time for an underwater segment. Pretty short one. And I will take this opportunity to show off one of uh, Kitty Kong's other special, his ability to bounce across the surface of water. It's very hard to do, but you will need to do it if you want 100%. So you roll and push it. Okay, that was bad timing. You can roll... nope. You have to roll and push A at just the right time, and he will rebound like that, and yep! You actually can do it multiple times, and he goes higher each time. So we can swim under here, and get another bonus barrel over there. But if we actually go past it, we get two 1-ups and two bear coins. Sweet! And now we collect 50 ba 15 bananas. These are my least favorite missions, because the bananas are totally random in where they appear, and it can just take a while. But at least it gives you an opportunity to hear the amazing bonus music! 
Also, this game has gorgeous graphics. I mean, the Super NES version had better graphics than this, but like, consider this is a Game Boy game, and also even just considering it was an, a Super NES game, really good graphics, partly because it was made when the N64 was coming out. This is one of my big complaints of Donkey Kong Country 3. Instead of Rambi, they put in Ellie the Elephant, who is highly inferior, because she can't just run enemies over. She can suck barrels towards her, though, which is nice. That was an inflatable bird. If you pop them, they usually have prizes inside. So yeah, Ellie can pick up barrels, and we'll see more of her later in the game and more of her special moves. But I like Rambi much better. So we get a bear, uh, bear coin and a banana bunch up there, and now it's time to raise the flag. That's the first level down. So the way you tell if you've gotten 100% on a level, there's a couple ways. Or there's a couple things you need to note. So the color of the flag determines who you beat the uh, the course with. A blue flag means you beat it as Kitty Calm, and pink means you beat it as Dixie Calm. That little yellow flag there means that we did get the hero coin on that level. And the fact that the, uh, the flag is flying and blowing in the wind and it's not dangling like there's no wind there means we got all the bonus barrels. That's the only way to tell the level stats, which is kind of annoying. But anyways, next level, Doorstop Dash. And this is much better than the Super Nintendo music. This, this is one of my favorite songs in the game. So the main gimmick is of this level, pull the lever, open the door. The door will only stay open for so long, though. An example, Diddy Co Kitty Cone rolling, and yeah, if you jump into the door while it's closing, or just in a part of it that's actually there, you will bounce off of it. And I'm going to feel like I'm going a little overboard with the information, but there's just so much to introduce. So, this is a trap door, if you jump on it, you will fall down, and I have no idea how I took damage there. Oh well. Take that. These are buzzers! They're not zeners, they are buzzers. I don't know why they had to replace the regular bees with mechanical bees, but whatever. Not my choice. So that's the way we're supposed to go. If we go this way... Aw, oh, darn it! I'll need to backtrack once I get Kitty Calm. This can be a bit tricky. Need to wait for the buzzers to get out of your way. Well, maybe we actually will not be able to backtrack at this point, because the door is shut. We can try, though. Nope. Door's just shut. Unless this opens that door as well. Nope. Rats. Well, we'll have to come back, because the DK coin was over there. Still, how about that music, huh? Barrel cannons are back, of course fun as always. Wow, invisible one-up. I never even knew that was there. So wait for the buzzer to be out of your way so you can open the door and get the bonus barrel. Find the coin! So this one, you need to be patient. Don't just charge on through expecting you can get to the end really quickly, otherwise you will probably get hit by that first buzzer. Also, as a rule of thumb, just assume every level has two bonus barrels on it. I think there are only, like, two exceptions in the entire game. Also, I am playing this on the Game Boy Player if you couldn't tell by the background, which means I can use a control stick to do everything. Which is very nice, because control stick really beats D-pad. If it's done well, like on the Game Boy Player. The Donkey Kong Country series just has great music all around. I can't remember which composer made this, uh, the music for the GBA remake. I don't think it was David Wise. It also was not Grant Kirkhope. Please let me know in the comments if you know who did it. So hold the left, uh, hug the left wall there to get over here. Never mind, the GK coin was over there. So we missed the first bonus barrel, basically. Yeah, you'll notice the flag is not, like, 
blowing in the wind, really, it's kind of drooping down. That means we missed one of the bonus barrels. I will- ooh, this means I can also take off the opportunity to show off another gimmick. Or not really gimmick, but another secret in the game. So we're gonna just go ahead and get that bonus barrel. Oh, maybe we won't be able to show it off. Rats. That's fine. I was gonna show off warp barrels, but I can do that in another episode. Alright. Yeah, so what we want to do is throw Dixie Cone up here. Open the door. And now we need to do a pretty precise throw there in order to get Dixie Cone actually in the door. That throw is very di uh, tricky to make. Oh, and if you don't throw Dixie Cone actually upwards, then you'll just throw her and you won't actually travel to the place where she lands. Man, this is trickier than I remember. <sighs> okay, so spoiler alert, this is actually my second attempt at recording the first episode. For some reason, it, the first episode just did not record. I got this on the, my first try in the, that playthrough. <laughs> Can I just jump in? Nope. Man, this is tough. I'm surprised they put this on the second level in the game. There we go! Whew! F collect 60 stars! This one is much easier. Bonus coin, bonus coin, bonus coin! Bonus coin! And now we can just start select and leave the level because we've already beaten it before. Sweet! Alright. This is not Wrinkly's Save Cave, this is Cranky's Dojo. Welcome to my training area! I'm fed up with you young whippersnappers having all the fun! So I'm improving my skills for my next big adventure in Cranky Kong Country! If Cranky Kong Country ever comes out, I will buy it, and I will play it so hard. You can help me train if you like, but I'm no charity. I need to raise cash to fund my new project, so I'm going to charge you for the privilege of training with a master. Cranky Calm originated Kickstarter. As it's early in the game, I'll let you train with me for just one of those stupid silver coins. The ones with those freaky bears heads on. Let's train, Cranky. Help me deflect these spiky critters with my trusty shield. Use the control pad to move my shield into the correct blocking position. You'll get a reward based on your performance. Get ready! We actually play as Cranky Calm for this weird minigame. I love Cranky Calm, so I am actually kind of a fan of this. Even if it is a bit disappointing. So yeah, you can just move left, you can move left and up, you can move left and down, and then right in any of those directions as well. If you can deflect them all, which is not terribly hard, then you get a uh, banana bird as a reward. Occasionally you can get some tricky ones. Whew! That one was close. Ding, 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 ding. Training complete! The man, he, play, he planned, or he trained for Tropical Freeze and he did it. Excellent skills! You managed to deflect all those spiky critters. You have completed the Master's Challenge! Take this bird, I'm sure it will come in useful... somehow. Another banana bird for us! And hey, thanks! He even gave us our money back! Thanks, Cranky! That's very generous of you. So, more underwater... Uh, overworld shenanigans. So if we swim over here, we can find another bear's house. In the Super NES version, this was Barnacle's Island. But it's something different in this. It's Bachelor Pad. Hello there! How's it going, Collins? Bachelor is my name, and I've built this fantastic new pad. I could really do with your help, though. I'm looking for someone to share my wonderful home with. To help me find the girl of my dreams, I need a beautiful rose and a box of chocolates. Could you get them for me? 
If you do, I'll trade you that stupid yellow bird that keeps getting feathers in my hot tub. Here, take this. It might come in useful. I'm not sure if that's the right voice for Bachelor Bear. Clear off, then. I need to take a bath in as I prepare myself for my hot date. And he gave us a weird old flower. We will need that for later in the game. I am going after 100% in this. You have to if you want to see go after every level. If we go up here, another hidden cave, Smuggler's Cove. Yellow, yellow, green. So these are very easy. Eventually they get up to very long patterns. But it, uh, it's not too bad. Alright, that is where we're going to leave it off for this episode. Thank you very much for watching. I'm ColorfulRD. I hope you tune in for the remainder of this Let's Play. It's going to be a very fun one. Next episode, we will probably finish Lake Arena Tana, maybe start on the next world. And we're going to start that by playing Tidal Trouble, another bridge level. Have a great day, and God bless. And if you just want to save your game, just push Start, and you can save your game. And you can see very limited progress as to how far you've gotten. We only have 4%. We better pick up the speed.